All right, so gas stoichiometry is the last piece of 7.2. Um, and when you finish this and have some good practice under your belt, you're ready for quiz number three. All right, so just a quick reminder of gases. Um, remember when we're calculating molar volume, so molar volume is at specific conditions, uh, so STP or SATP, we have the molar volume value is equal to the volume occupied divided by the number of moles there. Okay, so we'll know one of these values and our constants. So these are on the back of your periodic table, don't forget. Also, PV equals NRT when all else fails, you can use PV equals NRT instead of V molar. Uh, it's just a little bit extra work. So uh, R is 8.314 kilopascals per liter per mole Kelvin, and all of the units of P, V, uh, and N, and T have to be uh, kPa liters, moles, and Kelvin, respectively. All right, let's jump into an example. Now that we know and understand the basics of stoic, stoic means you take what you're given, convert it to moles using a uh, balanced chemical equation. We're going to use our mole ratio to switch between two compounds and report our required value. So if 275 grams of propane burns in a gas barbecue, what volume of O2 measured at STP is required for the reaction? So balanced chemical equation here, propane is C3H8 and it's a gas, and O2 as a gas makes CO2 as a gas, and H2O as a gas. Balancing, I need a 3, a 4. There's 10 oxygens on one side, so I need 5 O2s. Writing out what we know, we have a mass, so 275 grams. Having a mass means I'm definitely going to need my molar mass. And we're looking for the volume of oxygen measured at STP conditions. Okay, so using STP, I've got my molar volume. I'm just going to write it down, and that's 22.4 liters per mole. If you aren't going to use V molar, we also know that pressure is 101.325 kPa and temperature is 273.15 Kelvin. Right, either uh, molar volume or PV equals NRT is how we're going to finish off this question. So, propane is my known. That's what I'm going to start with. And um, oxygen is my unknown. So starting with mass, 275 grams times 44.11 grams per one mole of propane times 5 moles of O2 per one mole of propane. We've got some cancellation happening here. We're at moles of oxygen. Moles of oxygen isn't what I'm asked for. I'm asked for volume. And we need to cancel moles of O2. So using molar volume is where this comes in really handy. Liters and moles are part of the unit of molar volume here. So I'm going to use that and sub that in here. So 22.4 liters per one mole of gas. Multiplying all the way across the top, dividing by um, all the way across the bottom, we get 698 grams. Now, um, if you had chosen to work with um, PV equals NRT at this spot here, we would have stopped, we would have multiplied all the way across the top, so 275 times 1 times 5, remember we've stopped, we don't multiply by our molar volume, and divide by 44.11, we get the number of moles of oxygen. So we get N of O2 is 31.17 moles. I've kept an extra sig fig. Now if we wanted to, we could use PV equals NRT. We solve in for P, 101, oopsie, 101.325. I'm going to drop my units. KPA times volume is 31.17 moles times R 
times temperature in Kelvin, so 273.15. Solving for V, we just get a slightly different number based on rounding um, in our molar volume, so we get 699 grams. I would definitely accept either of these answers because both of them are just as correct, so don't worry about that. All right, last example here. Hydrogen gas is produced when sodium metal is added to water. What mass of sodium is necessary to produce two liter, 20 sorry, liters of hydrogen at SATP? Uh, so this reaction's a little tricky. I wouldn't expect you um, to necessarily be able to do this on your own. So I would give you two sodium solids and two water molecules will react. I make two NaOH, now it's aqueous and hydrogen gas. Um, this is why the reaction is actually quite dangerous to add sodium to waters because you're making a very strong base um, as well as hydrogen gas which is extremely flammable. Um, so not a very good one. All right, the mass um, of sodium is what we're looking for. It's molar mass. Again, if we're looking for anything to do with mass, we need molar mass. So 22.99 grams per mole. And we've produced 20 liters of hydrogen at SATP, so the molar volume here is 24.8 liters per mole. Starting with my known and going towards my unknown, I'm going to start with 20 liters of hydrogen times 24.8 liters per one mole of H2 one mole of H2 per two moles of sodium. Got some cancellation happening. We're left with moles of sodium, but we're asked for mass, so we're going to use its molar mass of 22.99 grams per one mole of Na. Multiplying all the way across the top, dividing by everything across the bottom, we should get 37.1 grams. All right, so you're now ready for quiz number three um, and some practice.